<clears throat> Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at the Red Rock Sound RRS iVox synthesizer, which at the moment is duophonic uh, or monophonics based on the uh, 80s synth from the Soviet Union. Yes, indeed. And at the moment I am running very slight compression, uh, basically as a gain with the uh, RRS CL1 compressor, which is also based on piece of Soviet hardware from back in the day. And it's very nice, but all it literally is doing, it's not really doing any compression. It's just doing makeup gain for the volume. All right, so it's very, very nice. Now, apparently I watched Gavin's uh, video earlier and at the near beginning of that, he mentioned that Although this is monophonic uh, and you can have it go duophonic by switching on this little button here. Uh, apparently they're going to make it polyphonic as well, but I, I don't have that from them. I, I really don't know. I'd like to say hello to everyone who's here in the chat as well. Hi, Cara. Hi, Jim. Hi, Kenny. Um, hi, L Waves. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Wall. Uh, hello, Joe. Hi, Sam. Hi, Mike and who have i missed anybody uh, anybody jim i think i've said jim anyway so yeah cool so this was a patch this was an initial full reset patch that i just played around with so if i hit full reset again basically i can do that by just hitting a little back button here and it will reset the synthesizer to its default straight off right listen to this i'll just turn the volume up a little bit Straight off, the initial patch is, it's, it's a two oscillator synth, right? But you'll see we have a little mixer here. We have oscillator ones turned up full. Two uh, oscillator twos turned down. The noise is turned down. The noise also passes through the filter. And the saturation is turned down. The cutoff is about halfway up and the resonance is all the way down. It, it doesn't, that, that sounds really, to me, that sounds really creamy. We have some. We have some filter uh, uh, filter envelope applied. So what do we have here? Well, we have the speed of the LFO. So you have one LFO basically, and you have four wave shapes. You have a looks like a right, it's like a like a triangle, and then a, a square wave, and then a random, and then uh, can't see can't see my eyes. Another one. And you can apply modulation or pretty much all over the place. That's a bit loud, my voice is. I'll turn it down a little bit, right? So, there are a lot of a lot of um, VA synths now modeled on older gear. So, I guess it's a, a case of finding the one that you like the sound of and then getting that if you're into looking for this type of synth. To me, this sounds really good. It sounds very, very has a really warm feel the filter is really the, actually the filter is absolutely brilliant if i sweep that now the resonance is also really it's really really musical <laughs> Really snappy as well. Let me just turn the volume down a little bit of that. It is, it's, a really, it's got it's a really lovely filter. Okay, so let me have a glid, a glide. <laughs> have this legato and retrig so if i hold one note and i've it's at the moment it's on legato if i switch it to retrig a little like a little it changes the shape it changes the icon to indicate that it's on the, the one below it so retrig so legato it's not going to re-trigger the envelope if i hold the c and then play consequent uh, subsequent notes 
If I switch retrig on, it's going to retrigger that envelope every time I hit a note. <laughs> And it works bipolar, either forward, um, high note or low note. So then we have the bi voice, which basically turns it into a duophonic synth. Regardless of using both oscillators for either or oscillator, then you have a unison. You won't really hear that until I bring in the other oscillator, of course. So we can switch that off and out. Okay, so the oscillators. You have a, a, a bunch of different um, wave shapes for each oscillator. Thank you, Spider. Brilliant. Thank you very much. So for the band at the moment, the band in the oscillator section, the band is the frequency. Now, it's not stepped, so you have to do the calculation. And it runs in a MIDI CC value from 0 to 127. So halfway through would be two octaves above. Sorry. 64, 32 would be <clears throat> one octave, and then 96 would be three, and then 127 would be four. Double tap to reset it to center. And then you have a, a bunch of different, uh, 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 hi Jamie, a bunch of different wave shapes. So. So triangle, uh, saw wave, pulse wave, pulse two, and pulse three. I particularly like this uh, pulse one. It's very poppy. Actually, the whole synth feels very snappy to me. So then we have the, this is the right the modulation. So this second this one here which says oscillator two, this sets mod this sets oscillator one to modulate oscillator two, but then you see on both of these you have modulation modulation and then oscillator two and then detune. Modulation refers to what's going on here. So for instance, we'll just hold this note. have different waveforms for this and then noise it's kind of like it's kind of like random and then there's this one which is sample and hold okay so there's your can there's your LFO and then if we bring in now, so you've got this mixer here, so if we bring in oscillator two, you'll see that we have the, the band or the frequency, if you like, is set to its lowest amount. Now, if we move the oscillator two, we're going to modulate oscillator two with oscillator one. Regardless of this, And if we detune, you're detuning oscillator two against oscillator one. And then you can apply ind independent amounts of LFO modulation to oscillator one and oscillator two, but they are still based on this one LFO. So you've got modulation and it, you've got modulation amounts everywhere here in on the filter. The filter is really cool and the amp is really cool as well. It's really clever. So if we take the mod off all of this stuff for the moment. I'm going to um, just reset this. 
And let's move on to the filter. So we know how creamy and lush the filter sounds, right? It's really, really very nice. Let's let's take off the attack uh, the decay. That's fuck, let's just set it about here in the sustain. So it's here we go. And then what's very cool about this is your your envelope, your filter envelope. So if we have our we it, if we apply envelope modulation to the filter, okay, so it's, it's really, really long as well. Listen, let's just get a really slow sweep. takes a sustain and the, the a release down a little bit on this in envelope mode this is it's brilliant especially for the synth of this age if the original had this and i'm guessing it kind of probably did you have a normal waveform so you have a tactic a sustain release then when you switch this button on here this turns your filter envelope into a cycling envelope so if i just hold a note now and this is awesome. Check this out. We can get, if we modulate this, right? I'm just going to check something actually. Yeah, we can do pretty much, we can access all the parameters. This is, you can get that famous bouncing ball effect. Now the speed of the envelope is the, the, the speed of the cycling envelope, like all cycling envelopes is dependent on the settings of the attack, decay, sustain and release. So for example, if we want this, if we want this, uh, a cycling envelope to play faster we will reduce the decay so the impact of the cycling envelope is faster and it's insane just go back to it's incredibly snappy and then again the modulation the modulation section at the bottom here will apply the modulation that's set here to the filter and the envelope amount. So if we apply that also with the with the cycling envelope, you get this really interesting modulation effect. And then you can get some really interesting uh, uh, modulation routines just by using it. And it's only, like I said, it's only got one LFO, so that's really pretty cool. So let's switch that back. Okay, so that's your filter section, which is really quite um, uh, detailed. It has got super snappy envelopes, Warsaw 666. Super snappy envelopes. Right, so let's have a drink, I'm thirsty. It's a very snappy synth. Okay, um, so the envelope is basically the same. As the filter, we have the uh, envelope mode, which is the the, the the default one, the up one, is the normal envelope mode. So we... But we also have cycling mode for the envelope as well. So if we switch that on... 
I'll just wait a sec. So I'm just holding one key now. And if we... A normal envelope now this is n not a million miles away from the micro freak the Artori micro freak it has its own cycling envelope as well okay and then we have modulation for the amp and um, you know the gain stage and the, the, the volume part the adsr so and that is related to this and then we can then we can also set the destination of the mod wheel. So, I'm messing with the mod wheel now. And then velocity sensitivity. So with only a few controls, you've got an awful lot of um, sound design capabilities with this synth. It's really nice. Okay. It all, now, let me just, as uh, the price, and initially it's free, and it's in the, in free mode, you can run it for five minutes, I think it's an AUV3, five minutes, and then it'll cut off, and then you'd have to reload it and start again. Um, it's only, I think, four, four, four pound, four pound forty nine per. I actually bought this because I didn't have to. I wanted to do this tonight, and I didn't have time to contact the developer. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll buy it anyway because it's only four pound forty nine p. And I really liked Gav's uh, tutorial. I really liked the sound of the synth. Very nice, really good, cool. Now it also comes with a big stack of presets for all sorts of stuff. So now I'm with with any synthesizer, uh, old synth, of course. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. Sorry, the filter has two two modes. You have low pass. Low pass and band pass. So two two types of filter. So we need to put on some sort of let's get to um Let's get some some effects on here. Apart from the apart from the um, the, the, the compressor, which is just uh, boosting the volume. So we need to put some sort of reverb on here. Let's put on. Um, I'm just going to put in reverb, rack reverb, which is free. And uh, maybe we need some sort of delay at some point as well. So. Um, Let's see, what can we use as a delay? Um, time, plus time, time. Um, God, dog. Um, what was it, fab filter? Timeless. Okay, we'll just leave it on its basic kind of. So yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go too mad. <laughs> so listen, this is a brilliant reverb, and it's free. Audio kit rack reverb. Go 
close the microphone up to basically explain how the synth works. It's, it's pretty straightforward. There's only one page. So. I love the cycle and envelope so. It makes a big difference, but I've got to be honest with you, it's really, really nice. Oh, by the way, that's I did mention, didn't I? We have this cool in the mixer section, you have and the noise obviously passes also through the filter, but you also have a saturation. It sounds a bit tube saturation to me. I guess it was. <laughs> Although it's probably a tra uh, resistor. So these are some of the dual ones. Oh, you also have a tuning as well. Yeah, neither of it. God, it's so. Listen, it's. I'll turn my. Listen to the depth. If you're wearing, if you're wearing headphones, this, that's mad.
Thanks for popping in, Sam. See you later. I like that. And you see, again, this is a perfect example of snappy envelopes. Some since it's really difficult to get that kind, it's really difficult to explain that kind of pop in. Do you know what I mean? That. So the saturation there has completely changed the tone of the synth. I'll just have a quick look, see what it runs on. Spider, I'm going to... Um, this is the iVox, isn't it? Let me just... Um, let me just check. It says... Uh, right. It says... Spider, it says it'll run on uh, iOS 9 or later. Requires iPad iOS 9. Okay, so yeah, it's going to run on. It's going to run on uh, 13. Nice sound. So again, we have some more. I don't really think I don't really think it needs to be polyphonic to be honest with you having polyphony would be nice I think its strength lies in the sounds obviously a uh, synth is massively massively reliant on its filters and the filters in this are really 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 very good very rich and creamy <laughs> do you know what I mean it's really hard to say Yeah, I imagine the, I imagine the real ones are like uh, like trying to find rock and horse crap. Um, well, yeah, God, nice that we've got. Them. It's nice that developers take the time. To make them. Do you know what I mean? So I don't suppose the I don't suppose the market for these is like mega huge. Oh yeah, gosh, it's got to be worth, got to be worth, worth the money. It's not an expensive synth.
Here's some of the cool effects you can do. Thank, thank you, Stephen. Thanks very much, mate. Bless you. Thank you. Well, that comment me reminds me that you can get same developer Red Rock Sound RRS. They also do a, a filter. I think it's based on this filter. They do a separate filter as a plugin as a, an effect. Um, so you know, kind of, you could apply this filter, which is really lovely to anything. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Is that what you is that what you say? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I don't know how much the filter is on its own. I haven't actually, I suppose I could have a look. I've got the site open here. Hang on. Let me just see. Um, there is a free filter as well, by the way. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's based on the say. It's, it's The filter is, it says po it's a polyvox filter. So I think it's probably the same filter architecture as this. And it's 499 but I guess suppose the difference then is that you could, yeah, you could apply this that filter to any app, any AUV3 synth or whatever. If you like, if you particularly love the sound of this filter, it is particularly nice. That's a cool effect, especially with the reverb on and a bit of delay. It sounds like there's someone. It sounds like a. It, it's called more signal, but it actually sounds like there's people speaking in the background. Listen. Does it that that octave range? Very cool. Very nice. Great effects as well. Let's see what we got in Leeds. I'll be, there's loads of presets, look. To absolute bloody tons. <laughs> How theremin is that? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah you're, you're right, Spider. It's because of all the mad modulation. <laughs> it's really great for effects. That's a cool sound. I'd use that. See, again, we've got that really, that snappy envelope. Got to leave a bit of reverb on it, a bit of delay. Hello, Lady A. No, the, the the reverb isn't isn't built in. It isn't built in, and I'm I'm using two effects. I'm using timeless for a bit of delay, and I'm using the the audio kit free free rack reverb. Go in a minute, guys. So listen, while you say ta to each other, 
thank you for watching and bless you all thanks very much i'll play some more patches for a few minutes and uh, hopefully i will see you all again tomorrow with some oh yes i know what i'm doing tomorrow yes yes um i'll i'll, I'll, I'll tell you tomorrow um okay so the rrs um ivox electro musical synthesizer based on the uh, polybox uh, Soviet Union synth from the 80s. That's very, if anyone knows Tangerine Dream, um, Tangram. A little bit, actually, a little bit more. you guys later bless you all Pretty, pretty good interpretation of a military snare.